and welcome back to Aubrey Books and Coffee. Please grab your favorite beverage of choice and join me. Today we're going to unbox the adult bookish box for June. Now that I'm getting adult and young adult and sometimes they're behind on their shipments and other things happen with books not coming in like they're supposed to, um, they've had a really hard time trying to get all these items and everything in. So I appreciate all the hard work you're doing, Bookish Box, you're doing fabulous, keep it up. We just love the stuff so much we're always impatient for it. But at least we're caught up with June. We're still waiting for the adult May stuff, I believe, but for now we're caught up on almost everything else, which we appreciate. And so without further ado, let's open it up. As always, you guys make sure that you pack it well and you pack it full, which I appreciate. Let me get the little booklet out of here so I can make sure to give credit where credit is due. And it looks like the first item I'm gonna pull out is Crescent City Teacup. Aww. I do love Sarah J. Mass. So I have a feeling I'm going to love this one. I have the little teacup stuff here that came in with uh, um, the Akatar series. And so now it looks like there's going to be one for Crescent City, which is pretty cool. Aww. Here's the base very pretty and then the actual cup itself oh oh that's so sweet oh my gosh you guys that's so cute I love it I don't know. I don't know if I have space on my shelf for another teacup and saucer, even though it's Sarah J. Mass, even though I loved Crescent City. Oh, I don't know if I can't find a good spot for it. Let me know below. And if we have more people saying, let it be up for grabs than we do that say keep, it might be up for grabs. We'll have to see. Oh my gosh, decisions, decisions. So next item I am grabbing, if I can, it says Literary Wanderlust Candle Collection. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm so sorry. The teacup and saucer. Um, it says the artwork was by at Avon Del Art. There we go. And of course it has Hunt and Bryce, like we mentioned from the Crescent City series. So now the candle... It looks like this is about, this is going to be based on the Red Palace and it was created by at Sylvan and Design Company. Okay, there's the Red Palace logo. Oh, you almost don't smell anything. It's very, very light. Um, probably not going to keep this one. Again, there's only so much room on my bookshelves for goodies. So this one will probably be up for grabs. If you're very sensitive to smells, this might be a winner for you because it would look beautiful on your shelf but not give off too much of a heavy scent. So that'll be up for grabs. And then I'm grabbing this little bag here and it says Zodiac Academy and it looks like it's saying it's a Kindle carrying case. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so pretty, you guys. And I don't know if it's showing well, but it's velvety. It's super velvety soft. And then it's got this zipper. Oh, it's so nice and silky inside. Oh, this is just beautiful. Um, it looks like the person that made this is at Bookish Pin Up. Okay, now here's the thing. This is absolutely exquisite, you guys. I mean, you you have to get one of these, especially if you have a Kindle. I mean, even if you don't, you can put anything in here, but you have to have it, it's beautiful. So that leads me to my next point, which is I would totally keep this if it had literally any other book on it. But as you guys know from previous reviews, I don't like the Zodiac Academy series, so I feel like 
this really ought to go to a home that does love the Zodiac Academy series and would really appreciate this item. So it's up for grabs for you guys. And I cannot stress enough though, it's very high quality. It's beautiful. It is 100% worth <laughs> saying yes, send that to me because I'm the winner at 75. So keep that in mind, you guys. Getting some really good goodies. And then, oh, it looks like there's a really pretty pen. Look at that. Oh, it is really pretty. Um, for the pen, it says, um, spice up your note taking with Queen of Ithacana pen, inspired by Bridge Kingdom series. That is a good series. Um, and it actually doesn't say who designed it. So I just think that is beautiful. I will probably keep this though because my husband does love pens and I just feel like I would feel like royalty using this. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna be selfish and I'm gonna keep that one. And then I believe the rest is packing and the book. So yes, yes, yes. Let's see what the book is, you guys. It's nice and thick too. Oh my gosh. I'm pulling it out and it is a really thick, heavy book. The Prince's Poisoned Vow by Haley Turner. And it says Infernal War Saga number one. So apparently we're gonna have a good series here, which you know, I love series. So I'm excited about that. But this is just the outside sleeve. Look how gorgeous that is. It kind of reminds me of the sleeve of A River of Shadows when you reversed it that I obviously completely love. So have it on my shelf. Um, but looking at this, it's also got sprayed and stenciled edges. If you guys can see that real good. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a lion on there. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. You open it up and it looks like the dust jacket is reversible. Oh my gosh. And it is beautiful guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the author, there's a picture of her. She's a girl after my own heart. I love, love, love people who are brave enough to do fun colors with their hair. Oh, she looks like a lot of fun. I totally wanna hang out with her. Um, and then it looks like there's some beautiful, it's almost a green kind of tint to it but the gold trim on it and especially on the side here reminds me of the old classic novels that you could get and probably still can at the bookstores that have that kind of pattern to it but that is so pretty and in case you guys were trying to read that it says he'd much rather burn than have his body wander on after his soul had fled for the stars Ooh. and then inside there's beautiful artwork oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I love it, love. Same on the back though, same picture. But still, I love when they have artwork. It is signed. And yeah, oh my goodness, I think this is, oh, I think this is just gonna be so good. The pages feel a little bit on the thin side, but it also has a map. So this is going to be one of those intense stories. So probably not going on July. July is already pretty full, guys. Um, and by the time that I actually send this out on the YouTube world, it's probably at the end of July. So not going to add this one. Maybe for August, though, because it is super pretty. And especially if it ends up not being a five-star love, I want to make sure it's available for you guys when we hit 75. So that's all that I had other than this little uh, spoiler card for July. It says that it's, the theme will be Dangerous Destinies. So that's kind of exciting. Thank you guys for joining me. You take care and I'll see you soon.